Good morning. We slept terrible and <laughs> I am about two hours into sleep here. And, okay, maybe I got a little more than that, but uh, I don't think I did. I'm just uh, making her feel more comfortable when I drive. But we are still at Cooper Landing and we're about to head back out. I could do that, honey. Angelica goes, I gotta go pee, and literally a car pulls in as she says that. <laughs> so what are those chances? Basically, we are going to probably head back to Soldotna and go to that shower place. I think it's like an hour drive. But yeah, whole another day here to to just chill out and figure out what we could do. Her surgery is tomorrow. No, her pre-op is tomorrow. Surgery is on Tuesday. I uh, just tried putting my photos from yesterday on Lightroom and it says there's a few corrupt ones and they're all of her at Cooper Landing. It was, uh, it was frustrating because that was like my favorite photos I've ever taken. <laughs> they're gone. <laughs> I, I think. So, yeah. I don't know what the heck is going on. It's the first time I ever had corrupted files. My friend Scott had some really bad issues a couple months ago, or a couple weeks ago, and he couldn't upload photos for months on his computer. And uh, he had a Mac, but he updated it and he got it all working. It took like three days of like updates and whatnot, and he finally got it working. So I bought a Mac like two weeks after that shenan shenanigans, and I'm having problems. And I don't know what to do. A worst case Ontario is uh, I can just put the um, photos onto my phone, I hope, and edit them like that. It's not the same, but it could work. Um, I just, uh, it's, it's frustrating. I just wanted to get those photos going and, and here we are, not getting those photos going. Change of plans, we're actually gonna head to Seward because I don't think I've ever been to Seward in like peak summertime. So everything's pretty green here. And I got these really, really cool mountains behind me with some low laying clouds. Pretty cool. I don't know if I'm gonna do time lapse or not, but I really do like this area quite a bit. We just stopped at this beautiful, beautiful spot that we came to a couple years ago for the first time. We found it by accident, and well, I noticed it on the maps. So basically, if you're driving to Seward, just pull into where it says forest ranger information here, or forest fire information here, some, any, something like that. You'll see it on the way. And then you just pull in, it's like a long driveway, and then it goes to this. Wow, this is beautiful. That place was pretty, pretty epic, wasn't it? All right, we're heading to Seward now. All right, so I'm not a big complainer when it comes to going to restaurants, but we went to the Breeze Inn here in Seward and just had not a good, not a good experience. The food itself was cold. Our waitress never brought her coffees, put her food down on someone else's table and then brought it back to us. 
But Angelica watched her do it. She actually walked into the kitchen and then walked back out like it was something different. And then, after we eat, she never checks in on us to see how things are going. I said the food was cold. And then, we she gives us the check, charges for coffees. I'm like, um, do you see any coffees on our table? And she's like, oh, I'm sorry. Literally charges me $99. I paid for someone else's meal. I'm like, um, what the heck? And she's like, oh, here, we'll just avoid it. And then just, I have to charge your card to the other one. Charges my card. I'm like, well, can I get the receipt to show proof that you voided it? And she's like, well, I guess I'll just dig through the trash. I'm like, well, I guess so. Uh, not my problem. And she's like, I'm so sorry. Like, it's just been a busy day. And I, like, and I get that. I used to work in a food place. But if you're a nurse and it's a busy day and you give someone the wrong medicine that kills them, was it just a busy day or should you just try to focus one thing at a time? Some people aren't multitaskers. I'm not a big multitasker, but I just learned to focus on one thing at a time. And things move quickly when I do that. We're in Seward. Rant over. Rant over. Complaints over. I'm not complaining any more time. Who Did parks like, the like door? this? Did you like the door? <laughs> um, I'm not gonna complain anymore for this video. We're gonna get some coffee and enjoy some beautiful scenery. We're still in Seward here, and uh, we just did this really, really pretty trail, and it led to the Bart Harbor, but we parked at way downtown. So it was like a, do you know how many miles it was? Whatever 7,000 steps is. And then, um, yeah, really pretty out. And I went to the tour for a, like a little sea tour thing, but they didn't have any available today, so I would have paid 94 bucks for one. But it is what it is. Um, what else we got going on? Uh, uh, wow, it's beautiful. <laughs> okay, so it was weird. It was foggy when we came in, but now it's clear. All right, we're gonna head back towards the truck area. All right, we are here in Lowell Point. This is in Seward. Seward, technically kind of right there. So, and then we're about to go across the bay here next, but it's a really, really pretty spot. Really get the show off the shoreline and how beautiful Seward is. Green mountains with some snow, some beaches, can't beat it. The thing with Kodiak is it's just, the snow melts really quick, usually before it turns green. So, rare you have green and snow. All right, I told you guys we were on. Really? I'm trying to talk here. <laughs> All right, I told you guys we were going across the bay. We went across the bay. Wasn't much to see. Too windy to fly the drone. Fell asleep for like an hour. Just came back to the low point, took a shower. Feeling good. So we're walking back downtown Seward. To get something to eat here. Fill up my gut. It looks like I haven't eaten in like 10 years. Just, that's a sarcasm. It looks like I ate every five minutes. Guys, we just ate at the Seward Brewery Company. And uh, I gotta say, that actually might have been my favorite place to eat in all of Alaska. Um, even the beer was really good, and I'm not a big drinker. The beer was good. The wonton nachos were probably the greatest thing I ever had in my life. Her burger was really good. The brisket sandwich that I got was really good. That was just, that was probably the best experience I had. So, definitely made up for it earlier today at that breakfast place we ate at so we're gonna walk off this meal by walking back to the vehicle <laughs> but yeah I'm, I'm I'm pretty happy about that meal
All right, look at this. We are on a trail. It's not the wheelchair accessible trail though. I can tell you that. Okay, it is the wheelchair accessible trail. But we're tired and we um, also uh, just ate, so we're pretty full. So I've got my bear spray here and we're going to exit glacier. Hopefully it's just a quick, quick little hike here. We didn't, there's more fancier ones where you could walk right up to the glacier, but I didn't decide to do that. I decided not to do that. All right. This is a pretty trail. 10 mile hike. 20 mile hike. Quick. Probably took about two and a half days to get up here, but it's pretty. I think if you've seen glaciers before, it's okay. I'm sure everyone should see it once, but it's not spectacular. It's pretty, but I wouldn't say it's blew my mind, man. But it's a quick, it honestly is a quick little hike. Probably took us like 30 minutes. So if you're in Seward, just do it. Quick exercise. We just ate a bunch of food, so might as well, right? Quick little hike. Easy. Easy. Isn't it cool if you ever had like questions about something and like within like an hour it's answered. We kept seeing these little wooden signs that said a year, like 1917, 1961, 2005. And I was like, what the heck is it? I was like, is it the elevation we're currently at? It wasn't that. So we just happened to walk by a lady talking to her kids or whatever she was talking to. And she said that the year is where the end of the glacier was. So, glacier shrunk quite a bit. So, I guess we're all gonna die soon. Alrighty, I think we found the spot for the night. It's a little different tonight. We're not sleeping in the back. I got eaten by mosquitoes last night. It got cold. We're just gonna sleep in the actual truck tonight. So, yeah, pretty nice spot. Pretty nice spot to just take a nap. Go to sleep, feel recharged for tomorrow. And she's got her pre-op appointment tomorrow. But anyway guys, thanks for traveling to Seward with me today. And be sure to subscribe to the channel if you like these videos. I am Chris Luck and have a good night guys, uh, goodbye. <laughs>